how much produce is in this fridge. Trays and trays of produce. Look, and they put the fresh one at the front, and at the back, you've got the squidgy one. Marinated skirt. No, oh, tilapia. That is what you call dry chicken. That's more chicken. There must be thousands and thousands of dollars worth of food here. If the cash flow is in the shit, this is a big reason why. Thank you very much. Have a good night, guys. After observing dinner service, Chef Ramsay now knows that Mojito's problems are not just confined to a bad relationship I don't argue for no reason. and subpar food. We'll never come here again. In fact, Mojito's is in much worse shape than he thought. <laughs> Right, let's start off with tonight's uh, dinner service. Or shall I say a disservice? Customers pissed off. Uh, dishes being returned. If each and every one of you want this fucking restaurant to work, you all have to reach for a standard. Whether you're serving food, whether you're cooking food, or whether you're sending food. At the end of service, I pop downstairs. Who does the purchasing in here? Who buys the fish, the meat, and the vegetables? Me, Marshallah. Stay there, stay there. Let me just show you something. Right now, I'm really nervous because I, I don't know what's go going to happen. Just play that out for me, please. Just bring the whole tray out for me. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what to expect. I'm scared. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. I was speechless. How can Marcelo allow something like this to happen? I've never seen such waste in my entire life. You've got enough food down there to serve a banquet of 5,000. There's seven of these <gasps> down there. Seven. I don't know if I'm going to kill Eduardo first or I'm going to kill myself first. This is rapidly shutting down the restaurant. I've got some work to do, and I've got to get out of there, guys. That makes me feel sick. I'm the owner, and this is my kitchen. This is my place. I should be the one taking control of the situation. 